Our pond content has been a little quieter over the winter months. I appreciate your inquiries for updates and for your continued interest in how the pond is coming along. The days are getting longer and the weather warming up here in the Midwest. While we haven't had a lot of activity on the pond over the winter, I wanted to bring you current as to where we're at. I only ice fished it once this winter. The reason for that was a combination of inconsistent weather and water level on the pond that made ice conditions unstable. As you'll see, we have a new challenge, figuring out how to slow the water leak in the pond. But this is what it looked like throughout the course of the winter. It is December 7th. The pond is somewhat iced over here. The water is up and it has consumed the rock bed. Here's the south end, frozen over. The island is an island. Water's over the edge. Right on the north end here, the spawning gravel bed. The water is rising. All right, guys, it is December 16th, and we are about to go into the deep freeze. And there goes the ducks. The pea gravel is completely filled. That's fun. So it is January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year. We've had some crazy weather here in Iowa. Look out. Be free. Pretty sure. We can get out here to the big rock. Get up on top. Okay guys, that is our first drilled hole in the ice. Um, it's kind of sketch out here. I'll be honest, the pond has actually dropped by about a foot, maybe, in the last month. And that's a little concerning. We'll have to figure out what that's about. The sides of the pond, I mean, you can, you can see that they're sloping down and the whole ice sheet is is kind of sagging so i've only found about four inches of ice out here and uh so i'm not going to venture out any further i spud barred my way out here and uh we're gonna drop we're gonna drop a jig down a hole and see if we can find one of our little perch that we put in here oh it's gorgeous we only started to lose the water after it froze You can clearly see the water dropping. The ice level. Well, we've regressed a little bit. We're leaking. Every pond owners. I don't know if it's a nightmare, but end of February, winter seemed to drop the pond. Been doing some research online about polymer additives to ponds to help seal the porousness of a pond and so i've been looking at soil flock and uh it's a two-part polymer and then a dammit solution not dammit but d-a-m-i-t dammit it's just a one application deal and as soon as as soon as it touches the water it actually expands to like 30 times the size all right so here's our present day we Turned the pump on for 10 days straight while we were out of town. And that raised the pond level 19 inches. So not quite two inches per day. Now that's also kind of counterbalancing what we're leaking. We've been measuring and we're leaking about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half per day. And so 
that's not great. That's more than what our pond can sustain from a watershed in our annual rainfall. A quarter inch to three eighths of an inch would be acceptable for our pond situation. Um, rainfall could sustain that naturally without having to be pumping water in all the time. So we've got a leak somewhere and that's the challenge. So now that the water is ice free and now that the weather is going to be warming up, that's going to be our first, our first challenge. And so stay tuned for that. We got our measuring device over here. And so we'll be taking daily measurements to know how much, how fast the water leaks out. And that's the challenge. Now, we've been looking at the polymer treatments. Soil Flock is a brand that, it's a two-part polymer that we're looking at. But to treat a one-acre pond, that would be rather cost prohibitive. But, um, we do want to kind of focus on some areas. So where the, the pipe goes through the dam, that would be our first um, would be our first attempt. Wherever the water is leaving, it'll get sucked into those cracks, expand and create a, a tight seal. So um, this is going to be where I first apply that stuff and we'll go from there. And we're tracking our, our, our water loss by the day so we'll know if that first attempt if this area you know if that's all that it is that would be awesome we'll just try one area at a time to kind of isolate the variables and hopefully minimize the expense and then when we were digging the pond out here i noticed ground seepage water filling into the pond and so as soon as you get that hydrostatic pressure to get um, the volume of water, the volume of water that we have in our pond is significant. Um, and so when that pressure of that water is pushing down on the ground, on the water, groundwater coming up, that's where we're probably likely losing water. Now, we didn't do any kind of compaction on the pond basin before it started filling in with water. Um, something in hindsight we should have done. That would have added extra cost, but that's what we're dealing with now. There'll be some more activity here on the pond project. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience over the winter, but um, we'll be bringing some more of those updates. We've had two geese that have found their way to the pond and we don't want geese to build their nest here so that's also going to be a battle that we've got on our hands you don't want geese taking up residence on your pond they just bring a bunch of crap literally crap and when they raise their young here then that brings then they kind of have a tendency to gravitate back to the same place of their birth year after year and then we don't want that so we'll be uh trying some geese deterrent measures if you see out there we put a couple fake swans out there floating they look pretty um i'm not sure how effective they're gonna be i got a fun video coming here in the next week or so of all right guys this is why you follow new nature adventure no i'm going you'll want to stay tuned for that that was a fun adventure also coming up we've got a contractor to do landscaping and do a lot of planting i'm gonna agitate the the side hills and get seed planted and get a blanket over top to help with our erosion because that's a huge issue um i mean it's sad to look at our gravel our pea gravel bed right there this fall or last fall we put a bunch of pea gravel down and now you can't even see it and i mean it pains me to even look at that they'll still spawn in there but not nearly what i thought um, when we put it there after the spring thaw mostly thaw silt spilling down into the 
gravel bed. Main concern, main priority right now will be fixing, finding the leak and sealing that up. This is where we're at today. We've got a leaky pond, but we're gonna figure it out and we'd like you to, to join us in that adventure. Um, hopefully we can sort it out quickly so we can get to the fun stuff.